Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and I am actually doing a clean copy of my box that I shared on Facebook Live on Thursday. Um, I had a few problems so I wanted to do a, a cleaner version of this box so that everyone can get the measurements and it's just such a good box and it's really sturdy and it would be really great for any occasion but I did make these for Christmas and let's get I'm going to just sh share what you need for this All right so I am using the seasonal layers um, dies here and we are using this little snowflake right here we're going to use some stitch shapes in this oval and then we're using the lay us uh, oval layering ovals and this is the one that we're using and i think that i already told everybody this on the live but it is about two and about two and a half wide and maybe three and three quarters tall but you do need a large um, oval for that so I know they don't have punches that big, so you do need the dies. And then I'm using this Making Spirit Sprite. We're going to use that, that sentiment right there. And then for the tag, we are using Delightful Day, which is this one. This is a great one for treat boxes and bags and stuff. It has a lot of cute sentiments. But we're going to use the Just a Little Something for you. So that's what we're using from that. And I think that's it. I am going to do this one right here is um, Call Me Clover and this one's Poppy Parade and we're going to do a Cherry Cobbler one today. So you are going to need a 10 and a half by 7 inch piece of Cherry Cobbler. You're going to need some Scrap Whisper White and you're going to need a piece of window sheet that is 2 and a quarter by 2 and a quarter. Alright, so, and then I'm using the cotton ribbon, and we are going to stamp on the cotton ribbon. So let me get the scoring simply scored up here, and we're going to score this. Alright, so on the ten and a half inch side, we're going to score this at one half, at three, at five and a half, and at eight. And then you're going to turn it, and you are going to score it at two. And I hope you can see on here, because um, I do need to mark and measure on this. So on, on this bottom part, these are going to be our bottom flaps right here. But on this top part, we are going to take our ruler and we are going to measure, I'm going to turn it the other way, from this top right here, we are going to measure two and a half. And I'm just going to measure and mark at two and a half all the way down here. And then you are going to connect all your little marks and we're going to draw a line. You can later uh, erase this line or just use it on the inside of your box. All right, so be very careful what side you're cutting. Um, on because this is the bottom part and this is two inches here so you want to cut this right here off this little half inch and we're going to cut here where we mark that line and then down so you're just going to have this as your little glue tab now I'm going to cut down my bottom um, flaps We're going to just cut from this top one to that mark that we just drew, that line we just drew. We're not scoring it. We're just going to cut down to that. A 
Okay, so we are going to leave that like that. Let's go ahead and first, before we um, do any more, we're going to go ahead and stamp so we can, once we bring the big shot up here, we will be done with cutting. So I'm going to use my Whisper White, and I'm going to use the Sentiment and some Tuxedo Black Memento Ink. And we're going to stamp the Sentiment. And then we are going to use this same piece to cut our little snowflake. So I'm going to set that aside and we're going to bring the big shot up here. And the part, this part is a little tricky and I did kind of mess up in my Facebook Live. So I wanted to share um, to make sure and I'm going to use a piece of sticky note which I didn't do on my live. And we are going to fold this in half like that. Make sure this is all on your um, magnetic platform. I'm going to take this larger one, and this is important to use your um, sticky note because you want this to stay in place. You want to have this centered on the top here, and there's going to be, with this die there's going to be a little bit of space on each side don't worry if you cut a little bit off of here it's not going to matter but i am going to use my sticky note this time which i didn't do in my video i mean in my and then we're going to line this edge to the mark that we marked on here and we are going to run this through and it is going to be tight but it's going to cut through both of those layers, and you want it to cut through both layers. This, this box is so pretty, and it's such a good size that I really wanted to share it. Okay, we're going to do the same with this one, and it may cut a tiny bit off of that. Don't worry, it's, it's okay. And we're going to set this here. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to line this edge up to the line that we drew and send it through. And it's funny how when I did it the first time, it wasn't that hard to run through. But every time I do a video or something, that always happens. <laughs> All right, so we have now the little curves on the top of our box. Now I am going to kind of straighten this, just cut a little bit here. Just so that it looks a little bit nicer. Take the little edge off there. So you can just, just like that. All right, so that's it. And then we're going to just go ahead and we'll run our sentiment through and do our snowflake. And then, this is another thing, I forgot to cut my snowflake because I was so worried <laughs> about the other things that I messed up that I forgot to cut my snowflake into the, my box. All right. I want to keep that intact and hopefully I ran it through enough times and I have my little take your pick tool and my little sponge here so we can try to get all those little pieces out all right there we go look at that there's only one little piece that's stuck in to this. Alright, so there's our snowflake. And now what we're going to do is we are going to cut this exact same snowflake from this. And I want to make sure this is the little glue tab, so I'm going to put our snowflake right there. So we do have to fold these up. We're going to place that in the center, and it will leave a little impression, but that's going to go on the bottom of the box, so it's not going to really be a problem. Okay, so we're going to run this through.
and you'll see it leaves a little bit of an impression there but there's our little snowflake all right so now we're done with the big shot I have everything ready to go we are for first going to erase this line on here and I'm going to use that for the inside of the box anyway but I'm going to just go ahead and erase it anyway all right so I am going to get ready to put my window sheet on here and I'm going to use wet glue and this does take a little bit longer we have to hold it down when you use wet glue but I found that it holds it really nice and it does dry clear so we're going to put that on there and I'm going to go ahead and sharpen all these score marks so we are ready to put our box together I'm going to use some tear and tape on this little piece right here. This one you definitely want. You need a strong adhesive on any box, but um, you really want to make sure. So we're going to adhere that. And then we're ready to put our box together here. I'm just going to go ahead, I'd use tear and tape again, but I'm going to just go ahead and use some fast fuse. You can use your wet glue too. Make sure your box is square. It's a really good sturdy box. Alright, so now for this top part, I'm going to use my little Velcro dots. Now these are the ones I get at Walmart they look like this you probably could get them at any craft store they are 56 circles in here they're three three eight inch thick and they're very thin but we are going to use these for the inside of the box so remember this is going to be your front so these are going to fold in I'm going to go ahead and put my little one here because we're going to hold that inside with the little velcro and then I'm going to kind of look and see and I'm going to put the other one here and I didn't get it down far enough and this one's hard to attach here and do it in there there we go all right so that's going to fold in like that you're going to use your hole punch and we are going to punch a hole in the center here and then we're going to punch another one in the center here and then we're going to set that aside for just a minute so we can um, use our cotton ribbon and I did use about 16 inches so we're going to cut about 16 inches off here and I may have to shorten it but that's okay we're going to use some cherry cobbler because that's the color of the box that we're using and we are going to stamp this ribbon love this ribbon this is cotton ribbon is so perfect for this and it doesn't smear or anything. It's really, really great for stamping on. All right, so we're done with that part. Let's go ahead and grab the Memento Black. You can actually use you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use shade, uh, shaded spruce for the little stars that I put in between. I've been using the basic black, but let's go ahead and do something different. I love the shaded spruce and the cherry cobbler together. It's really cute. So you can stamp any sentiment that will fit on here. Um, it would be really cute. 
And this box is such a nice box that, you know, to take the time to do all this is so worth it. Because it's a really, really good box. And it would be really cute for, like, um, a little gift for a friend. So we are going to add, let's see, I think we are. It's a little plugged. <laughs> We're going to add some glue to our snowflake. And then we are going to match it up to our snowflake on here, and we're going to place it on there. And that will that will dry clear as well. All right, now let's string our ribbon. And before we tie it, I'm just going to first tie this part. And then we are going to use a little bit of our Whisper White Baker's Twine. And I need my little tag. And we are going to use our smaller eighth inch punch and punch a hole in the end of that. And we are going to string. Here, and I'm going to do it underneath here. Tie a knot. And then we are going to do our bow. You can make your bow whichever size you like. I'm going to turn that around so the writing is showing. And then we're just going to trim the ends. All right, so there you have it. I hope that explains a, a whole lot clearer because I kept making little mistakes on my Facebook Live and I just wanted to redo it so everybody could get a really good idea because it's so much fun and it's a really, really nice size box. All right, everyone, if you haven't sub subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video and if you haven't come to my facebook live it is on thursday nights at 6 30 on stamping with amore on facebook and i hope to see you all there have a blessed day everyone see you later bye